G'day guys, all right, we are in a Nova Bravo Signature Series couples van. We have just finished a huge upgrade to this particular caravan. We've ended up with 1650 watts of solar on the roof, a massive 24 volt battery system underneath here with a 310 amp hour battery, 3000 watt inverter, and heaps of charging options through portable solar, rooftop solar, DC DC charging from the vehicle. Because this is a 24 volt system, we've also converted the 24 volt back to 12 volt for all of the existing equipment that's been running in the van, like lights and pumps and fans and all of the relevant charging devices such as USBs. So this couple came to us after they bought their caravan, knowing that they were going to do an upgrade of some description. So they actually bought the caravan with a very basic electrical system already installed in it. So when we were talking to them about this particular build, we, we always try and find out exactly what it is they're looking to do with their system. So the main thing was that they want to be able to run their air conditioner for extended periods of time. So once we worked out what it was that they wanted to do, we settled on a 24 volt system for this van. We also decided to remove all of the existing charging equipment from the van. So this van came with a projector PM335, which as you can see is here. So we've removed this from the system. That unit does 240 volt charging, solar regulation and car input from a 30 amp charger. So it's quite limited to its capacity and what it can do. It also does tanks, turns a pump on, does some 12 volt isolation and distribution. So we've removed all of that completely from the system. We've then integrated a full Victron suite of control, uh, DC DC charger, solar regulation. We've obviously ended up with the GX system in the overhead cupboard, the Touch GX up top and the servo down below. So we also ended up removing the various other bits of equipment such as the DC DC charger and the existing screen. You can see here I've got the uh, the old panel that was in here which we've we've installed a new panel for in the overhead cupboard. We'll just take a quick look at that up here. As you can see, completely redone in the overhead cupboard here, cupboard. including the GX Touch. Obviously some 240 volt modification works here for hot water system AC and fridge, which was already integrated into the van. Uh, this van also came with uh, an RV Wi-Fi system. These guys are actually going to be running Starlink, so we've removed that, which has given us some more space on the roof because the RV Wi-Fi system has an external antenna, which was mounted on the roof. We've removed that. We've also removed the TV antenna. So these guys are now going to be completely digital on satellite for their internet. So we are running the air conditioner at the moment off-grid. It is a Horton Bel Air 3400, so not super efficient. It's a, it's a pretty heavy consumer, but we are running it at the moment. You can see up here, uh, the system is saying inverting. The compressor is not running at the moment because it's only pulling 62 watts. But as you can see, at this present time, we're pushing 382 watts of solar in. So with these systems, as always, we ask the customer exactly how they want to operate it these guys are going to be quite a heavy consumer so because they do want to run this air conditioner for extended periods of time we needed to be able to give them the facility of recharge so recharging this system via roof mounted solar was was the most important thing so we've managed to squeeze 1650 watts of solar on the roof which is made up through uh, 200 watt solar panels in a 250 and we've literally utilized all the space on the roof so there's nothing left up there which is great um, this is a so as you can see down here 
underneath the seat. We've got our battery. We've got our 24 volt multi plus 3000. And then we've got our suite of charging system over in the underneath here. We've got ventilation installed into this seat box as well, which is super important because this equipment does get quite warm. So we've made sure we've got good airflow through that. These guys have a three-way fridge, so they can run their three-way fridge on the inverter. I always set it up that way because when you've got a system of this nature, it is more than capable of being able to run these, these three-way fridges on 240. Uh, you can also choose to not do that, so you don't have to run it that way, but we do it that way so that you can have that option. All you need to do is take that out of automatic and run it on your specific choice of, uh, of source when you're off grid. So with that in mind, we've also got the ability to run all the kitchen appliances that you could possibly want. So coffee machine, toaster, kettle, you can run the microwave. You can see here that the microwave is on. And as I said before, you can see up here that we are inverting, which means that we are off grid. So because we are an electrical contractor, we can integrate this system through compliance and the requirements of the regulations into the van completely. So that gives the customer the, the comfort and satisfaction that they are going to get a system that is completely thought about, compliant, and there will be no issues moving forward. And then if you have any questions about how the system operates, you call us and we give you the answer because we've done the system. We're not, it. We're not subcontracting out to various other subcontractors. So this couple's about to take off on retirement. They're looking forward to coming and picking this van up today. They've ended up with a massive system here, which has got the capacity to run the air conditioner for extended periods of time any of their kitchen appliances, they're not going to suffer for power. 1650 watts of solar on the roof is a huge amount of solar. Big 24 volt system underneath the seat here. We're looking forward to doing the handover. Cheers guys. Is a shunt down the bottom there. Yeah. And then just working your way across you've got all of the other gear. So we've got solar regulated for the roof solar. We've just got 1650 coming down through it.